Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Today's video is the second part of the Pat McGrath Moonlit Seduction Palette Review. I have already done the review of this palette in my How to Use an Irish Shadow Palette series where I break down this palette and show you all the swatches and the tone breakdown and do a detailed review of this palette. That video is already up on the channel. I will leave it in the description box as well. In that video, I told you I will compare this palette with some of the other palettes, not some, all of the other Pat Murad palettes I own. And that's the video for today. I'm going to share with you the comparison of this palette with all the other Pat Murad palettes I own. This eye look also which I've done today is using this palette Moonlit Seduction. This is how it looks. Very, very pretty. If you want to see swatches review, then please do check out the other video uh, if you are interested. But uh, yeah, this video is going to be only about the comparison. So without much further ado, let's quickly get started with today's video. Okay, the first two palettes which we are going to compare is uh, Divine Rose 2 and uh, Moonlit Seduction, of course. This is how the packaging looks like. The vibe is kind of similar. So I just want to show you the packaging too. Okay, here are both the palettes side by side. Uh, so here I think... There isn't much of uh, similarity in both the palettes. You can see the Divine Rose palette has a lot of pinks, purple and a bright gold. But this one I feel the tones are quite different from what we have here. Only two shades I think I can see which are kind of similar are these two. This one and this one. And these two in the Moonlit Seduction. The mattes. Other than that none of the metallic shades are anything close they are quite different so if i swatch quickly this one is the rose divine rose 2 this one is moonlit seduction 
so this one is divine rose 2 this one is moonlit seduction this one has more brown of course and this one which is the moonlit seduction has more berry tones so they kind of look similar in the pan but they are not actually not very close same way we can see this one and this one too of course very, very different very different shades one is like a full brown which is this one and this one is like a peachy peachy brown okay other than that there are not uh, any other shades which are similar next palette which i'm going to compare is this one this is the subversive palette and the cover of it this one looks a little bit different and this is how the subversive palette looks like i mean these are uh, this palette is also very very different so in the subversive palette you have a lot of sparkly shades a sparkly blue black two kinds of purpley pink tones uh, a deep black which is very nice i love this palette the subversive palette one of my favorites uh, whereas in this one it's all a very muted muted uh, glittery metallic effect kind of neutral i would say the moonlit seduction so not many similarities here the brown tones are also very different and the shimmer or the metallic tones are also very different this one is like a pink purpley tone it's very different mm -hmm. from what we have here here we have this one which is a more lilac-y tone okay so this is more purple this is more lilac they are kind of different on the eyes also they will look a little bit different it has some blue tones as well other than that not much i think this one also we can see here are the comparison of those two shades this one is from the subversive palette lighter and this one is from the moonlit seduction so definitely the moonlit seduction is more uh, bronzy more bronzier a little bit deeper as well this is light yeah so there is some kind of similarity but they are not not same i wouldn't say uh, the shades can replace each other so these palettes are quite different then we have bronze seduction this is also one of my favorite palettes my first pat mcgrath palettes i had wanted it for a long time so here is how bronze seduction looks like this one is also like bronze seduction a more enhanced version of bronze seduction this one has different tones this one has different tones uh, this bronze seduction definitely has more special shades here we have three special shades one two three this red is also very very nice here also you have uh, one two three special shades but this special shades in the bronze seduction they are like little bit little bit more intense more punchy very very dramatic here i think these two are more subtle this one is a little bit dramatic but not as dramatic as these one these are more sparkly more glittery excellent these are more wearable i think which you have in the moonlit seduction and then this kind of a red you will don't have in this palette of course uh, the texture of this one i am not a fan of this is a very similar color to this so i prefer this color uh, this is also a bronzy color like this and this one is also like a bronzy shade the one in the bronze seduction has a little bit more gold tone in, in it it's gold bronze i love that shade too but the texture i prefer this one of the moonlit seduction i think it has a better texture the color is also very similar okay, so i'm very happy that there is something similar to this color in this palette which i can use a lot this is a very nice bronze color and then you have the browns the browns are all different tones these are warmer browns then there's a aubergine purple shade which is not here there you have a berry and here the brown tones are also very different this one is like a taupey gray sort of a color this is also a very nice color i love this shade here something similar to this but this is lighter this is deeper if i swatch it here so this is bronze seduction look at that it's just really nice pigment and this is of course a silver gray which has a lot of black in it so totally different shades love these both of these shades they are my favorite and uh, yeah that's about it i think there are no other shades actually there are no shades which are similar to each other in both these palettes there are some similarities but no i think 
both the palettes are quite different from each other the bronze reduction palette is going to the last big palette for the day i have just four big palettes so moolit reduction was the fourth one i purchased this was the first one so those are the two palettes bronze reduction and moolit reduction after that i have some mini palettes and i also have this holiday palette i thought i'll just show you quickly side by side not many similarities this palette is totally different this is the first holiday palette which i had purchased uh, after that i didn't really buy any other holiday palette just this one which i have which is like quite different from this moonlit seduction palette this one doesn't really have any special shades i think there was just one so yeah just a quick comparison of both the palettes let's move on to the mini ones the first mini one which i had purchased was this platinum subliminal bronze palette this is such a good palette this is what i use on a regular basis very very nice palette earlier i didn't really like it that much but it's a very very wearable palette so i can see why uh, like these palettes are really nice and glittery and shiny and sparkly but at the end of the day these are the kind of colors which you wear on a day to day basis so for that this palette is just gorgeous not many similarities here the brown tones are very different these are two taupey and a purpley tone very different nothing similar is in this moolit seduction palette and this one is a bronzy tone which is kind of similar to this one you can say so i think that would be the only one which i will say is little bit more okay so these are the two shades how they look like this one is from the platinum bronze and this one is from the moonlit seduction both are really nice both are bronzy shades i love both of them so there is maybe you can say a little bit of similarity so if you like these kind of shades right you can get this palette uh, it has this beautiful bronze and this palette i don't think you can get it anymore i'm not really sure if it's discontinued uh but yeah this shade is really nice and not much similarity between both the palettes next i will just quickly go through my minis also these are the quads which i have they are the only quads which i have so let me quickly take out or take out all the palettes here are all the quad palettes in front of you i am not really sure which one you can get now but in case you already have one of these palettes then i'll just show you the comparison so the first one is one of my favorite is the blitz astral quad ritualistic rose the first one which i had purchased i think yeah first quad which i had purchased beautiful colors i love all these shades all are special metallic shades very very beautiful none of these shades are actually here in this so this one doesn't compare to this very very different palette there, there's a purple metallic a gold a deep brown a bronze color which is very different and we have a pink gold so none of them are in this next we'll go to this this is interstellar icon uh this also is such a beautiful palette i love the quads which i have and this also doesn't have i don't think there is any similarity nothing none of the shades are similar love the shades all are metallic look at this beautiful gorgeous shade oh my god i just love this so much this uh burgundy shade is also very nice there's a but like a very very nice festive palette there's a pink and there is a blue very very nice palette nothing similar to this third palette is this one uh venus in flowers foristic vixen this is how this palette looks like kind of little bit similarities is uh, are there like this, this this shade and this shade and uh, this one this is a mat which is a little bit deeper than the other mats which are here so doesn't really compare but we can see this one so this is like a pinky bronze the shade which is here in the voyeuristic vixen palette and here in this which is like a true bronze like a golden bronze so they might look similar but it actually this one has a little bit more pink tone pinky bronze and then we have this one of course which is like a pinky white color and this one which is a more true white so this one you can say is slightly 
similar but yeah that's not a very exciting shade those are the two shades i think uh which are somewhat similar so this is also a very different palette okay guys last palette for today this one is called deep space divinity really i like this palette too i'm just keeping it here so that the glare of the light doesn't disturb you so here this is the only palette i would say which has some similarity to this one this one looks like a smaller version of this so you have this berry shade i'll just quickly show you the difference berry shade quite similar so you can see this one is from moonlit seduction little bit lighter and this one is from this palette this one which is deeper you can see this is a little bit deeper so moonlit seduction one is a little bit lighter but they are quite similar to each other then we have this bronze shade very nice bronze of course somewhat similar the moly seduction one is a slightly bit lighter this one has more brown from this palette so pretty i love this one too this the ones which are bronzy topi amazing the ones which are brown they are one of my favorite so nice browny bronze and then we have this one also which is a gold actually like a light gold shade something similar is here which is this one i think yeah but the texture is very different so you can see this is also like a light very light gold shade but this is more sparkly this one is metallic the texture is very different so not over there and last of course this one and this one these are very similar in tones but the texture is different this is a complete metallic that beautiful blue green oil slick kind of a shade which i love oh my god look at that okay. then i have this one which is also that oil slick blue green shade but this one has a lot of sparkle like silver sparkle so it looks different but the idea of both the colors are the same so if you want the metallic shade you have to go for this if you want the similar feel in a sparkly then you have to go for this look at that amazing i love these kind of shades this kind of shade is one of my favorite shades in eyeshadow palettes so definitely there is some similarity that be but because of the texture they look very very different so yeah so i think this is the only palette out of all the palettes where i would say there are probably three shades which are kind of similar to each other and this palette has a lot of the essence of the new moonlit seduction palette so yeah that's the comparison of all the palettes i i hope you found this helpful and uh, yeah that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you again really soon in my next video bye